Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today, we are with Sang Tao, who will teach us how to build an electric bike boat from scratch. Grab your favorite seat because this DIY process of making a boat will leave you in awe. Sang starts by using styrofoam to shape the boat's mold, a smart choice since they're lightweight, easy to cut, and perfect for solo projects like this. He bonds several styrofoam together, then carefully marks out a layout based on measurements. This step helps him trim the structure down to the exact shape he wants. With the help of a friend, he uses an electric tool that heats a wire attached to the electric probes. The heated wire can slice through the styrofoam with precision, perfect for shaping the mold to the right thickness while maintaining its boat-like contour. These wires are typically made of nichrome. Next, he lays sheets of fiberglass over the mold. At this stage, the fiberglass looks and feels like fabric but once it's treated with resin, it hardens into a tough, durable shell. That's exactly why it's a go-to material for DIY builders tackling serious projects. After applying several layers of fiberglass, he smooths the surface using a primer to achieve a polished finish. It will improve adhesion, enhance durability, and a smoother surface for painting. He then installs a small steel pipe at the center, meticulously welding it to the boat's frame to ensure structural integrity and a clean appearance. These wooden strips along the sides of the boat will work as flaps. It enhances its appearance and contributes to its structural integrity. These additions provide lateral support and help distribute stress evenly across the hull, improving both stability and performance. Now, it's time to integrate the bike frame into the boat's structure, a step that requires precision to ensure both stability and functionality. This involves securely mounting the bike onto the boat, aligning it properly to maintain balance, and ensuring that all connections are robust to handle the dynamics of water movement. Careful attention to detail here, will ensure that the bike and boat operate seamlessly as a single unit. With the structural work complete, Sang moves on to finishing the boat's exterior. He begins by applying a paint, which smooths out any surface imperfections. To give it a better and unique look, he applies a vibrant orange top coat, giving the boat a fresh, sleek appearance. This choice of color not only adds visual appeal, but also improves visibility on the water. To connect the propeller beneath the hull to the motor mounted above, 
Sang inserts a steel shaft through the welded pipe. This shaft runs from the propeller mounted beneath the hull up to the motor positioned above deck. Ensuring proper alignment and secure connections is crucial for efficient power transmission and reliable operation. To ensure a precise and durable connection, he fabricates a custom mechanical joint using a lathe machine. This involves machining two metal discs that serve as coupling components, providing robust support and alignment for the motor system. By creating these custom parts, Sang ensures that the power from the motor is efficiently and reliably transmitted to the propeller, enhancing the overall performance and durability of the boat. Let's talk about the creator of this boat. He is an expert in the construction of these boats from the ground up using DIY methods. Check out after watching this video if you enjoy building vessels. It will not disappoint. With the propeller and motor securely mounted, Sung turns his attention to the steering system. He installs a metal rudder at the stern, which will control the boat's direction. To make steering intuitive, he connects the rudder to the bike's handlebars using a simple cable mechanism. This setup allows the rider to steer the boat by turning the handlebars, just like on a regular bicycle. Such a configuration is common in DIY projects, offering effective control without complex electronics. To manage the boat's speed, Sang installs an electronic speed controller, ESC, a device that regulates the motor's power output. This setup allows for precise speed adjustments, enhancing both control and efficiency. The ESC is connected between the battery and the motor, modulating the power flow based on user input. This configuration not only provides smooth acceleration, 
but also helps in conserving battery life by delivering only the necessary power to the motor. Once the seat is securely mounted, Song proceeds to install the battery that powers the boat. He carefully positions a 12-volt deep-cycle marine battery within a protective compartment, ensuring it's firmly secured to prevent any movement during operation. The battery is then connected to the motor and electronic speed controller using appropriately gauged marine-grade wiring, complete with inline fuses for safety. This setup provides the necessary power for propulsion and control systems, enabling smooth and efficient operation on the water. Before launching the boat, it's crucial to ensure that every component functions correctly. This process includes verifying the operation of the motor, steering system, rudder, propeller, and all electrical connections. Conducting a thorough pre-launch inspection helps prevent potential issues on the water and ensures a safe and enjoyable boating experience. Ready to see it in action? Let's watch this innovative creation glide across the water. Believe it or not, this DIY electric boat bike reaches speeds up to 31 miles per hour. A remarkable feat for a homemade watercraft. Considering that many small fishing boats typically cruise between 5 to 10 knots, and even many speedboats operate within the 20 to 50 knots range. Achieving 31 miles per hour places this build at the higher end of the speed spectrum for boats of its size and class. This impressive performance is a testament to the builder's ingenuity, combining lightweight foam construction, fiberglass reinforcement, and custom fabricated mechanical components.
you for watching. If you enjoyed this build, consider checking out Song Tao's channel for more innovative DIY projects. The link is in the description. Also, leave a like. Your support means a lot. See you in the next video.